Yo, welcome back to my second playthrough as Chris on the Resident Evil 1 HD Seamless Project. I'm doing this because the second playthrough I've got unlimited ammo weapon. I don't know what happened. So uh, I'm going to try a speed run. Barry, where's Barry? I don't think I've got an alternate costume well, I'm though. Sorry. I'm not sure. Probably. No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris, take care. Oh, we've got the costume key. That's excellent. Let's go. So I'm aiming for about two hours because I know we've got a lot more difficult things to do playing this, Chris. So two hours. So unlike Jill, we need to find an extra key. I'm trying to think where the first item box is. Do you know what? I'll leave it. We don't need it. So, first things first. So, I know I don't need that map that's in there. So, we need the sword kit. I can't even remember where that is. So this is definitely going to take a while if I'm not remembering shit already. Upstairs first, when I made a mistake. I don't need the map. I'm thinking maybe we go left instead of right. Yeah, let's go this way. So I've not even done a plan or anything, I've just decided, you know. I'm gonna do a Chris second playthrough. Pretty sure we don't even need these jewels, it's just for the cold python and uh, some shotgun shells. I think it's actually the director's car that um, has the MO disc behind the tiger. I have got a PS1 emulator uh, ultimate director's cut. It'll just look the graphics won't be as good as this. Two hours is what I'm aiming for, or between an hour and a half and two hours. I'll meet Rebecca first, I think. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> You must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. <sighs> well, yeah. I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes, I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. 
It's good you're here. Yes, sir. You think out of all the characters in the Bravo but team... It's strange. Rebecca the fucking the survived. The helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. Oh, there we go. There's the first key. See, I totally even forgot where it was. So we don't need the closet key until I get the armor key. Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? All right, let's go. We're on a mission. Oh, shit. Gotta remember, blood pool on the body, dead, shadow alive. He's still alive. Don't need to go in there. set up on the piano and we can go off It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? See? Just relax and play. All right. come free. definitely take longer to kill when you're playing this Chris because his mode's the hard difficulty I guess we can take a herb it's 
See, do we need, even need this now? Because I don't need ammo. And all the lockpick drawers with the small keys are for ammo. So I'm going to just fucking get rid of these. Yeah, I won't bother using these. I'll just... Uh, it's just really a waste. We've got a gun and infinite ammo. The only gun we need other than this is the Colt Python. Don't need the fucking shotgun at all. Let's get the first crest. Let's see if we can remember this right. After us, after this, which they don't do on the dual playthrough. The only thing I have trouble with remembering is the uh, V jolt. I'm surprised the crows haven't flown after us because usually they do. remember if this door on the left needs an, the armor key or not. Or if there's anything in there, I can't even remember. Maybe the light is all that's in there. I noticed there was shadow and no blood. So, we'll just go here for a laugh. I think Forest will attack us. Let's see if he attacks us. So now, when we go back to get the key from the weed, I'm actually, uh, do you know what? How much space have we got left? It's all right. I'll grab these anyway. I might use them as I go along, if I remember where they are. So for this, I'm gonna go downstairs, because obviously I wanna get the blue jewel, because we're going past there, and then I can use the stuff on the weed the mutant plant. So we'll get the jewel first. Get 
this over with first. Then I'll go back and get the key from there. If this is it, uh, ammo, I'm just going to leave it here. Oh, it's the crest. Good. Did need that. An hour and a half to two hours, I'm hoping. Because we've got this machine gun, we should be able to do it easy. Might pick up a green and red herb just to stash for later. Should be the armor key. Thing is, I need um, a few slots, so if I take a red herb, stick that in the box for later, I'll come across a green herb. See, I'm not going for a world record speed run or anything, I'm just trying to see how fast I can get through it. See, I can get rid of a couple of things here. I know we don't need the shotgun. Don't need any of that ammo. Well, I'm just going to put the crest away because I need two spaces for the shield. As I've done a speed run with Jill, I know this machine gun's all we need. The machine gun and the Colt Python, that's all we need. Shit, I forgot to get the fucking closet key. So I'm going to change outfit, I forgot. Fuck's sake. Can I get that key next? You like it? Maybe after I fight the snake. I would love to play this version, the original, original version of Resident Evil, but with the modern graphics. Not even the remake they did, just a full remake um, oh, with the modern great. character models on this version of the game. Because it's just fun, it's just so fun. What is that? I might have to run back and get that closet key now. I really want to get it. Because other time, otherwise by the time I get it, it will be done in the mansion. Uh, the first section of the mansion. So we go and get it quick. Probably had a couple of minutes on, but who cares? Right, 
this rock. This is a strange looking costume. I hope it's not a shit one. They look pretty cool. Fuck it, I'll get this green herb as well. We're going up to the uh, get a lighter now. We don't even need it really. Let's be honest, you don't actually need that lighter for shit. So I might just go straight to the snake. Because uh, should be able to take the snake out pretty quick with this guy. I just don't want to get bit. As a kid in 1996, 1997, this music scared the shit out of me. Oh, I knew that was happening. Fucking piece of shit. Can't believe I got bit. For fuck's sake, now we're gonna have to do that bit with Rebecca now. I think if you, if you uh, don't get bit, you can skip it. Quickest 
way just to run across here. Oh, there's one zombie I forgot to kill. I'll probably kill him now. exact same way back. I think timing wise we're doing pretty good. Go. I don't even think we need to go in that room. I don't think there's anything there other than ammo. If there is, I'll have to come back, unfortunately. Come on. So I'm pretty sure that's got to be all four of them. I might be wrong. It might only be three. I can't remember. I'm just going to double check these other rooms before we go down. Well, I have to go down because I ain't got enough room anyway in my inventory. Don Chris and his six inventory slots. Cool, so we've got all of them. So we can literally go right now. I can literally... Uh, is there a green herb that we put in there? I can literally go into the garden right now, which is a uh, nice fast timing. had to kill a dog that's in here I remember so my time with Jill was 118.13 wow
so far so good. So first thing I usually do is pick these up. Just in case we get poisoned. Well, we get these green, red. And then I get the blue. floor this way I've got health in case I get poisoned by any spiders right let's rock to the guardhouse we go so we're about half hour in so far so you should be able to do it in under two hours. I'm hoping anyway. Skip the FMV. Down here. Probably got three or four dogs, I think. Two here, two on the other game. Shit! Getting hit like that, man. Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, shit. I'm going to get hit. Fucking lucky. Yeah, there's three dogs here. There's Chris, there's, I think there's one or two with Jill. That hole there is where the plant fucking hits you from. Stacking up for health. for now, I just have to remember to get it later. I think this is the control room key.
I'll only take something if it's like Magnum Ammo. Don't need to see the spiders. That's for Rebecca later. There's always a bit on here that um, there's a box that you need to get. I always do this first so you don't have to run back this way. I'll show you why. Probably no, come on, who hasn't played this? I'm going to push this as far down as it will go, not right to the end though because you need space to move around it. the shark at all costs. Hoping it's out of view, completely out of view. couldn't kill him. Oh, we're in there now. We're safe. Usually they never get to me that fast, but I guess it's more aggressive on Chris's campaign. loads of ammo in here but all we need is this key here it's not glistening in the light oh there you go glistened this is all we need we're nearly at the plant 42 already just 
Just double checking there's anything in here. No. Nothing. How would you walk near it? I know this is the first one, water and red. Three and four, and four is green. That's seven. Two plus four, so it's red and green. Seven and six. So seven and six is thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen plus three, so we need red and water now. Yeah. 
V jolt, got it. That was quick. don't care what that item was in the basement, we're out of here. go down to the root and pick up that item in case it's nothing. You? I guarantee it. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. know what that item was but I'm just going to focus on completing it. Wesker! Chris! You're alive! My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We're still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Do we need the 
crank yet? No. Not yet. the hunter come after us in a minute I'll skip the video Get it. Oh, right, because the light's not on. Now I can get it. Remember to get the crank when I leave. Uh, yeah, that's right. Don't get poisoned by the fucking snake up here. Make sure we've got more than enough herbs. Don't trust this snake. Doing pretty good. We're under an hour and we're this far already. Batter 
Sorry. I'll be able to finish this in an hour and a half at this rate. Jill's time was 1 hour, 18 minutes and 30 seconds. If I could beat that, that'd be fucking amazing. Fuck, I need the MO disc as well. No magnum ammo, good. So I'll just get the battery. Let me get the MO disc. I need to go and get the Colt Python and we're good. press that red jaw on that little statue on the right and the, a lamp comes on in this left corner but I already know that so I know to just push this right there. This is the first MO disc. Hell yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Time to get to the uh, lift. We need to get the crank. First, I want to get the Colt Python. So, we need the red jewel. And when we get the Colt Python, we need to get the uh, red crank. Not the red crank, the crank, so I can put the water back in the uh, courtyard so I can get into the underground tunnels. Caves, whatever you want to call them. I see Mr. Zombie come down the stairs, but I'm going to skip the cutscene. Let's go. We're on track for a good time. About an hour now, so yeah, about an hour and a half. There's no way we'll do it in 18 minutes. Because we've got, um, in the caves, we've got to use move that flamethrower around to get to places which is a pain in the ass. Let's get the cult python. And get the cult python, and then we're out of here. Oh, I might be able to pick up that magnum ammo as well, actually. I should grab that first. So, all I care about is the weapon wise, is the magnum just for the tyrant battle. Because this gun's a bit slow to lift up, so he, at that last battle, he runs at you and he smashes you. So, definitely want the Colt Python. I will um, 
quickly put the magnum ammo away. Because we'll need a space for the other crank. You've always got to try and think ahead of what you need space for. get rid of the battery so I just love that this HD mod has um, skipping of the door loading screens that helps loads makes the game more enjoyable she's not just waiting there I can't wait to do Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 Resident Evil 2 is my favorite Resident Evil 3 I also loved as well but it's like I've forgotten it, because that's probably the one I played the least, even though I remember completing it and doing the mercenary mode and all that. Right, time to get out of here now. So... I believe this to be the quickest way. Diamond Hall, upstairs. Well, really, you can go straight this way. I'm just not sure if there's any more hunters that are in this hallway. Oh, there's spiders. Spider. Totally forgot spiders fucking spawning here. Oh shit! That literally made me jump. Fucking made me jump. Right, we're ready now. We've got the crank, got the battery. Let's go. Only thing I didn't really do is put the cult python away, which I could have literally just done. Fuck it. I'll have to use that health if anything goes wrong. So this is just a tedious little bit. So we don't, don't want to raise the water yet. We want to go down. Down that lift. Put the battery in. So at the start of the video. I did say I aimed for a two hour completion. But I'm thinking possibly an hour and a half. There's no way I'm going to beat the one hour. 18 minutes Jill playthrough I did. No chance. It's like 30 minutes away, there's no way. I don't think we'll do the next section in 30 minutes. Now we've got to run back to the lift now. So we've got two empty spaces, which is good because we need the flamethrower and the other crank. Worst comes to worst, I can use that uh, mixed herb. I have 
more hunters to deal with down here now. Item management's fucking key on this game when you're playing as Chris. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! <laughs> uh, uh, hell. Uh, umbrella. Who is it? I is someone there? Obviously they are, because that bullet didn't come from nowhere. Double crosser? What did he mean by that? Crank should be it. Oh. I love this gun. So yeah, we're definitely not going to beat the one hour eighty minutes because that's like around ten minutes. There's no way we're going to get the, rest of the game done in ten minutes. the door though yeah I'm just hoping that I'm not making a mistake here and that I, I'm just skipping an area because of this spider battle that's next Once we get the spider done, we can go to the other item box. Alright, spider time. Let's rock. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. Oh yeah, we have to take this and put this on the other door. So we have to take it. Let's make sure. Oh yeah. Oh, you always want to be on this side. Unfortunately, we haven't got space for the magnum ammo there. So we're going to have to leave that. Oh, fuck you. Cocksucker. Spider time, baby. Holy shit. Yes, we can use the flamethrower. Base and get something else. What's this? No.
you know what? I might save it now, actually. It's a good place to save. It's like nearly 30 years since this came out and I still love it. Right, let's go. MO disconnect, we need two spaces actually. Let's go. No fucking around. So we need to set this off because we want the MO disc that's there. second disc and we'll get the next book which has the medal let's make sure this is in line with that square on the floor out there oh close we're at the lab so we'll really try and get this done within an hour and a half it might be just over but my original goal was two hours so between an hour and a half and two hours is good less than an hour and a half is awesome we'll see Here we go. One more and we're in the final area of the game. Skip that. Down to the labs we go. This is just around the corner. Isn't it? Oh, shit. Sure. 
sure he's fucking dead. Should have really took one of those green herbs. Password. The, the username's John. Password Ada, and the B2 password is Mole. discs sorted now. I think there's one in here. Past the time of Jill's completion. Just going to take one of these herbs. We're on like the edge of fine. We're about to go on caution. But we need to have health because there is some annoying creatures. this one. Thank you. 
push that there first. There's probably a quicker way to do this, but this is the way I do it. ammo disc into magnum ammo oh we've got to stand in front of it one more to go take the magnum ammo I think we're going to need space for one key now I might try and see if I can get Jill out before I go up to the tyrant and see what happens Side, but when I pick it up, it's a fucking ink ribbon. Oh, it is Magnum Ammo. Good. the ceiling that can just fuck you up. Come on. Got you, son of a bitch. Final ammo disc. I'm going to go and free Jill, I think, before I even go up to Wesker and the Tyrant. Lucky. Fuck yeah. When I came here with Jib, watch my Jill video, I got smashed by these. Let's go, time to get out. Should be able to do this uh, less than two hours now, which is way better than my estimate. My estimate was around two hours or more, or just over two hours. It looks like we're going to get less than an hour and three quarters. Oh, there's still one more. Right, I'm going to go and get uh, Jill now. That 
was well lucky. Holy shit. I know this is adding time on, but... I wonder if she'll let me get her now. Usually I always grab them after. Yeah. Oh, you need that key. Yeah, I forgot. God Wesker, damn it. Wesker, he is. I know. I need that Shoot. key. Doesn't open. Can't get him until no, after. No. Wait here. I'll save you. Just added time hey, on there. God damn it. Yeah, there's a reason why I always used to go and fight the time for the first time first and then come back here. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Oh well, it won't take us long to get back to that lift. For a Glad piss, right. I want to finish this playthrough. <laughs> yes, sir. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. What son of a bitch he is. Oh, we know the reveal, so we're just going to skip it. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Kill me. 
saved the Magnum for the last version of Tyrant. Unfortunately, the Tyrant fucking... Where's the key? Usually has a key, doesn't he? Huh? I'm sure he fucking drops a key, a laboratory key. It's not there now. Oh well. Are we gonna fucking complete it or end up dead? like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Yeah, we need the key to get Geo out. So I, I'm going to save it again just in case I'm going to have to load up again. Because uh, that that's the only way to unlock her. Chris? What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. So because there's no key that Wesker dropped, the prison key, I'm just going to save it because um, obviously I, if I can't save her, I'll have to fucking just, um, load it back up. But otherwise I would have done one save. I don't have to run back because uh, I want to be my two hour, my two hour um, estimate. I wish they did an ending where you save Barry, Jill, and Rebecca. I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. Space for that battery. Let's get going. This is Brad. I have a little storage. 
better hope we kill this fucking tyrant quick. Final boss battle time. Should get a one uh, less than one hour forty-five, which is uh, much better at time, finish time than I thought. Go. Shit. He's gonna stay away from that hand. Yep, messed that up because I was reloading. Idiot, didn't count my numbers. to the good hand, not his spike hand. Dead bitch. So that was my, uh, you know, I call it a speed run. I'm not aiming to be one of the best in the world, but this is just my speed run, my second playthrough, my fun speed run of Resident Evil HD Seamless Project as Chris, as Chris and Jill done now with a first playthrough of each, and then the speed run second playthrough. So like, come scrub if you enjoyed that shit. If you didn't, go fuck yourself. So I'm gonna leave it for the video and the credits now. Like I always say, see you in my next video.
one hour 20 holy shit that's like two minutes longer than um jill's playthrough which is fucking badass even though the video is one hour 45 to get the, it times you by the gameplay so one hour 20 that's fucking awesome like 40 minutes quicker than i thought so yeah like i said again i'll say it again like comment subscribe if you enjoyed that if not go fuck yourself i will see you in my next video Yeah. <laughs>